Welcome back to another Islamic Ministries and Community Development Daily Reminder. Today we will be continuing on where we left off yesterday and discussing the last two categories of those Muslims who pray. May Allah aid us in establishing our daily prayers. The fourth category of those who pray are those who will receive a good reward for their prayer. They establish the prayer on time, fulfilling the pillars and essentials of the prayers and focusing and concentrating in the prayer with kushu. This category of people receive an expiation for sins as well as a reward for their prayer. Their hearts become engrossed in safeguarding the prayer so that nothing is wasted from it. His whole concern is directed towards establishing the prayer, its completion, and perfection as it should be. He is focusing on fulfilling the obligations, pillars, sunan, wajibat of the prayer, but is still lacking that complete love, compassion, longing for Allah. He is like a commanded soldier who has to listen to his general. He obeys him even though sometimes he may not like him or like everything that he is told to do. He has not reached the highest category yet of complete love, devotion, and dedication to his Lord. His love is developing and he is training himself to love his master and leader. The last category of those who pray are those who pray like the previous category. They are constantly obedient to their master. However, on top of this, they are from those who seek constant closeness to their Lord. They are completely devoted to their Lord, dedicated to Him, His religion, and everything He orders them to do. They know that whatever their Creator tells them to do, it is for their own good, and whatever their Creator prohibits them from, it is for their own good as well. This category of people look forward to the five daily prayers. They wait for it to come in. This category of Muslims are constantly looking forward to pray with anticipation. They know that the prayer time is the time within their day to realize true comfort, relaxation, and a relief of their everyday stress, difficulties, and hardships. Now is their one-on-one -on -one time to talk with their Lord. Their counseling session, their time to meet their advisor, the best mentor and leader. Many times you may find that your counselor, mentor, or advisor may be busy, may not answer your phone calls, may not respond to your emails, may not open the door when you knock, may be late for their appointment, and sometimes may not even show up to meet you because they're too busy with other clients. However, be reminded, brothers and sisters, that Allah is always there for us. He will never abandon us. He is always listening. He is always ready to respond, to guide, to help, to aid, to give, and to remove all difficulties. All we have to do is knock on the door. You told us, Ya Allah, when my servants ask you, O Prophet, about me, I am truly near. I respond to one's prayer when they call upon me. So let them respond with obedience to me and believe in me. Perhaps they will be guided to the right way. And the knock on the door is through prayer and supplication to Allah. Allah orders us to supplicate to Him, and the best time to supplicate to Him is in our five daily prayers. And the closest we are to our Lord is in prostration, sujood. Your Lord has proclaimed, Call upon me, I will respond to you. Surely those who are too proud to worship me will enter hell, fully humbled. al Gafir 60 Brothers and sisters, prayer time is the time to speak to our Creator and tell Him all that is bothering us, worrying us, troubling us, even though He already knows all of these things. He orders us to do so, so that He alone can completely alleviate all of our pains and discomfort. All other remedies will only provide temporary comfort and relief. As for Allah, then the comfort He provides is eternal. Only Allah can completely and perfectly alleviate for us of all of our difficulties and hardships in this world and the next. The people in this category are the best. They have perfected their Islam, are certain about their Iman, and have graduated to a level of Isayan. They are those who are in the masjid before the Mu'adthin and the Imam come in. When the Imam says Allahu Akbar to enter the first rakat of the prayer, they put everything away and aside, and these individuals realize and know that nothing is greater or more important than Allah and thinking about Him, supplicating to Him at this time and place. These people are in their prayer, standing and focusing with kushu. Outwardly as well as inwardly, they are praying as if Allah is standing right in front of them. Even though they don't see Allah, they know Allah is watching them, supervising them, overseeing them. These people pray with Isan perfecting their prayers, their kushu, their movements, and their supplications in the prayers. May Allah enable us to reach this category. Brothers and sisters, work on perfecting your prayers, work on focusing, concentrating, and making your prayers solely for Allah. Our sins are numerous, our acts of disobedience are endless, weighing us down in this world, and they will be even heavier in the hereafter. May Allah save us. One of the best ways, brothers and sisters, to release some of the burdens of those heavy sins is through prayer, is by making ruku and sujud to Allah. 
Abdullah ibn Umar ibn al-Khattab saw a man who was praying and was making his qiyam standing and recitation extremely long. So he said, if I knew him, I would advise him to make his ruku and sujood longer, because I heard the Prophet Muhammad say, when the servant comes to pray, he comes with all of his heavy sins on his head and shoulders, and every time he makes ruku or sujood, the sins fall off. Al-Bayhaqi in his Sunan 310 and Sahih Jami Nundr 1671. Whoever makes their five daily prayers the delight and pleasure of their days and nights, and makes their prayers the comfort of their mind, bodies, and souls, will have nearness to Allah, happiness, bliss, and success in this world and the next. These individuals will love and long to meet Allah in the hereafter, and Allah will love to meet them. May Allah make it easy for us to find comfort in our prayers. Stay tuned for more daily reminders from Islamic Ministries and Community Development and visit us online at www.dadmsd.org.